Hi, this is Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and in this video we're going to be talking about working with arrays in Drupal. So this lesson is geared towards folks that maybe don't have a PHP development background, but that might need to get into a Drupal website and modify some code or potentially add some functionality by creating a new module and coding in there. So we're going to start out by talking about what an array actually is and why we'd want to use one in Drupal. Next, we'll look at how to identify an array. So if you have a variable, how do you make sure that that's an array so you can apply these techniques to it? Next, we'll look at some examples of arrays from a Drupal module called blog. And these are examples that are very similar to structures that you would use in your own custom module. Next, we'll look at a couple methods for creating an array. And uh, we'll move on to being able to get data from an array and add to or modify an array, probably two of the most useful techniques when working with Drupal because arrays are used so extensively. We'll move on to a more advanced technique, which is looping through an array and performing some action on every element in it. And finally, we'll take a look at some useful PHP functions that allow you to do some pretty advanced stuff with arrays without having to write your own custom code for it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started by talking about what an array is and why we would want to use one in Drupal. Probably the first thing to wrap your mind around is that an array is a variable, and as a variable its main purpose is to store data. But unlike simple variables like strings or integers, an array can contain multiple pieces of information, and each piece of information can have a name. So an array allows us to map names to values, and the way we would typically talk about this when we're talking about arrays are values to keys. So values are the data, and keys are the names. Because we can do that, we can then access those bits of information by identifying their name in a particular technique that we'll cover later under getting data from an array. Because we can put in multiple pieces of information into our array, and that sort of structure can be very flexible. For example, we can put an array inside of an array or multiple values inside of an array that are different types of variables. We can structure data around the way that they're naturally occurring inside of our code. So if we want to store data about a user, say we have some basic information like their email address and their name and their ID, but then we have another piece of information which it contains all of their settings that they use for their site. We might want a, an array inside of that array than to store those settings. So arrays are very flexible and that's why they're used so extensively throughout Drupal. The reason why you will need to learn how to use arrays is that Drupal provides us with a number of ways to sort of hook into processes before they complete. So these are called Drupal hooks. Typically, in order to hook into one of these processes,